man. So I got I got a million dollar question for you, man. Okay, like, okay. and I was on a I was on a panel uh, last weekend, and you know it, it, it's like it's like arguing politics. Mm. How do an artist get on the radio? All right, this is the real truth. Best of the best entertainment presets. Your feature presentation. What up, Milwaukee? Yo, what's going down? It's your boy Sir Quinn from Best of the Best Entertainment, where we keep our eyes and our ears open for local, global, up and coming and established artists. Today, we got a music exec, yeah. a music plug, yeah. CEO of Big Hits Music Group, yeah. and All Money Saved Promotions. Yeah. Thanks for coming to the show, damn it. Yes, yeah. sir. Formally introduce yourself, man. It's your homeboy, DJ16. Man, thank you for taking your time out for coming to the show again. Oh, yeah, I've got to. Yeah, we got to be shaking up a lot, man. I've got to, yeah, because yeah. it's love, man. It's love. So how you feeling, man? I mean, you a busy man, man. Don't Motivate. give me the easy out, man. Like, uh, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm motivated yeah, right fact. now. I'm lit. I'm lit right now. Yeah, man. yeah. I'm gonna lie to you. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm facts, excited. facts, man. I've been hearing a lot about you, man. Yeah. So, who is DJ Sixteen, man? Man, I'm a man first, yeah. a child of God, yeah. and a father. Yeah, you know, that's what I am, mm. and I'm a music exec. Give me that yeah. disclaimer, man. Yeah, I'm a music exec in the industry of the Midwest region. Yeah, that's ready to turn it up for everybody. Yeah, man. yeah, that's who I am. Yeah, man. Plug. specify that Midwest. You hear you, man? <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, man. DJ Sixteen, man. In case y'all just now tapping in, man. So tell them where the name came from. You hear me? Yeah, you know, my mom's was a rapper. My father was a DJ. So that's what got me into music growing up. And when I was actually twelve, recording everybody, I used to break down the beat while they're rapping. So I had the best. 16 breakdown you can get while you making your song right and that's what and then i started rapping and i felt like i had the best 16 bars right so i went with 16 for that and mm. then at 16 i started running my own business and making compilation cds when i used to go hoop at blacktop and that's when the dj came in and so it was like dj 16 and it, it stuck with me man so you wait you said Dad was a DJ, mom was a rapper. Yeah, mom what? was so 100 pops was the <laughs> biggest DJ coming out of the what's southern, southern Wisconsin. Like, yeah, she, 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 she. So, you said you was making these, these, these compilation, uh, like, so you was let playing them because I remember yeah. Black Top, like, yeah. you talking about the McGub, yeah, right? McGub, ah, yeah. so you hoop DJ rap, oh, man. I was balling, oh, I was balling. <laughs> shout out to all my, my boys from Vincent, 05, you know, balling, you know. So, you said you made these compilations, so what was you doing yeah. with these compilations? Yeah. You were selling on you yeah, playing them because they had the speakers outside and all that yeah, shit. You know what, what I would do? We would pull up playing it first. <sighs> And then, and then, like, unlike everybody else that was coming to the actual game and being a gear, we off Hampton. So we coming in. Wait, you and, off the H's too? Oh, bro? yeah, I'm off the H's, oh, man. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Oh, shit, know. he know. God, yeah. He banging on camera. Hey, 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 it's Hampton, baby. Y'all better understand. <laughs> we in the blue. Size, man. Definitely. Reunited, boy. What's up, man? Hey, hey, look. It's, it's, that's how we came, man. Yes, Lord. And, and, and we would get dressed at the game, <sighs> playing our song. You know what I'm saying? That we just made. So mm. that's how I was doing it. And that's when everybody was was making compilation CDs to sell them at school. So mm. that's how I ended up getting into it with the compilations and, and, and selling that. It's like, oh, I ain't got to go to, uh, what was that on Fond du Lac? Uh, was that from the like this uh, man? Was it yeah, not this, di this I, man? Yeah, I'd have to go there. I'm the uh, this man. You got the, uh, you know, uh, I went right to Share Bear, uh, <laughs> go crazy, and put my music uh, in the mix of it and then put it out there for sale. So, yeah, I've been in it for a minute. <laughs> ah, that's insanity at its highest level, I, I man. So DJ sixteen, man, question, man, you really DJ, man? I do, yeah, I do. I know it don't seem like it because I don't promote me actually, you know, playing with the turntables online. Yes, Lord. But I'm on ninety nine point nine FM, The Vision. Yeah. I'm on iHeartRadio and yeah. Apple Music yeah. every mm. Wednesday at three o'clock. You can hear my mix. Yeah. Um, I am also I have my own show coming this month. Uh, big hit jams on hip hop TV radio. Yeah. Gonna check that out. So DJs, y'all want to get yourself on the radio station with y'all mixes and get paid. I'm your boy. <laughs> also, I am the national DJ for the hip hop fraternity and program director for HHF Radio. Yeah. So, and we are syndicated with you know um, Big Facts, yeah. Off the Porch, yeah. Big H. You know, uh, like 
we in there, man. This is real. This is serious. So y'all, y'all better tap in. Man, goddamn, man. The music plug, DJ Sixteen <laughs> himself, man. We got more questions for him right at this commercial break. Y'all stay tapped in. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now available on Roku TV. Again, we are pleased to announce that we are on the A and R app on Roku TV. Make sure y'all go support. It's spelled T H E, capital A lowercase a n d uppercase r no spaces please go check that out again it's capital t lowercase h e uppercase a lowercase a n d uppercase r no spaces the a and r all one word thank you for your support go check that out yeah of the best entertainment Shut up and hustle. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for still tapping in at the commercial break, man. We're kicking it with the music plug himself. I'm going to have you have him tell your name, man. Hey, DJ16. You hear hey. me, man? So you really off of Hampton, bro. Really like, off Hampton. What? Since I was three. What? <laughs> bro, wow, man. Talk that shit you was talking behind the scenes, yeah, man. Most definitely, you know, I've been on Hampton for a long time, and you got a lot of Hampton heavyweights that's making moves right now like my boy killer b yeah. and showstopper j magic you know they first songs that they recorded was at my studio on yeah. 66 and hampton Shice. you know and they body gang you know we hampton you yeah. know Shice. The paper. yeah sir so everybody used to come to my crib yeah and I, i'm at lancaster hoop and they everybody at the house everybody at the house and i'm pulling up and that's i was one of the first ones to have house parties and and djing at my own shit like yeah. I've been doing this on Hampton for a while, man. I've been hustling to make a paper for a while. Yeah, man. So how do you how do you stay motivated with all everything that you're doing, man? Man, the biggest motivation for me is something like what I did. We had actually yesterday, we um was in Racine. Um, shout out to my boy T Man, aka Motion. Mm. Uh David Ellis in Racine. He owns Every Man's Exclusive. And I use my 16 foundation that I have, I have a foundation for the youth. Shice. Um, and we gave back to the community yesterday and fed the homeless and uh uh less fortunate. You know, they was able to come and get free food. They was able to get their hair cut, mm. free clothes. And I'm providing the music the whole time, five hours straight DJing and, and hosting. So it was like- the heck with your DJing right there. Right? You know That's the me? question That's right there. Let you know. Yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. That, you know, this is what I'm doing. And, um, and that was great. And to see the people faces and to see that by me doing that, that give artists also another platform to perform. Yeah, right. You get in front of art. Like, like I love creating opportunities. That's what motivate me because yeah. I went through so much trial and error, but I was blessed mm. to understand of it was opportunity. Right, right. By me taking opportunities that allow me to have the progression that I am that I have now and the plugs that I have now. Right. So that's my motivation is knowledge, bro. Right. Learning and, 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 and teaching others and giving them opportunities. That's my motivation. Right. So like, so I was bumping your music when you, you know what I'm saying? When you came down. So like, it seems like this, this tethers to like, you know, you being an artist, like how does, how does that, you know what I'm saying? Like what you're, what you're providing to the artist, like mm -hmm. how does that, you know, resonate, if you will, to you, you know what I'm saying? Like you're offering these services and yeah, you know, like, why, like what's what's the importance to you giving back, like yeah, given because, what you went through? Yeah, because I signed the 360 deal where my money was taken and I got a check of negative amount of dollars in. I never saw a negative check until then and that's when i and then they like, what's the bankrupt. point of writing that like they write that like they write it like, that's that's they, they write off that they write off they write off even the paperwork that they use and they write off because they had to buy that paperwork they're gonna write that off so mm. you know everything is a write-off you know in, in america everything is a, a contract in right. america we're in a governmental country so right. everything you do if you really pay attention is it's a lease it's, if it's you a will. Yeah. your birth certificate has yeah. to be signed yeah. social security all that you know that's what allow us to be citizens instead of just nationalists mm. so us being u.s citizens we have to ob oblige by their citizenship laws the laws of the sea versus yeah. us being just nationalists and going by the laws of the land right so you know that's how they're able to double up on us and make money but most definitely it's a contractual land that we are in is starting to be a contractual world right and that's what they want to do and and that's how they can keep us in control yeah facts and like why is it important for you to give back you know oh, like yeah, so you don't have yeah 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 and to give back is so I, we can get up out of this hole we in so yeah. we, i can wake our people mm. up so we can have the knowledge and understanding to go forward for our children in right. the future because 
they need it. They need it. I did it uh, because I also have a moving company. Shout out to Michael Hollix. Yeah. Um, we moved a family yesterday too, and and it was a part where we couldn't fit the couch in the hallway. Yeah. So I had to put it over the balcony. So I'm had to hold the couch over the balcony. Yeah, I'm strong, you know. <laughs> so while I'm holding this couch though, the, the the three guys that's on the bottom that's supposed to get it, mm -hmm. scared for their life, like I'm finna drop it. I'm like, nah, bro, it's long enough to where yeah. I can set it to you and y'all can, you. can yeah, catch you got it. it down. I can run down the stairs, guide it with you. you but know this so young 20 year old never experienced that, never seen that. So he's scared uh, for his life when it's like, you're not in danger. You're not. Ooh, but that's the knowledge. I like that comparison. You see what I'm saying? So like we 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 move off of fear. Yeah. You know because we don't know what's going to happen. You don't know the outcome. Yeah. A lot of us get in, in these in these cases with the government, and you going to jail, and they put you in a position of 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 not knowing what's going to happen to put you in fear to. Uh, um, um, influence you to do what they need. Yeah, to, yeah, to yeah. Influence yeah. you to say what they want you to say, mm. which is actually illegal, but they still able to do it. Yep. It's their laws. Yep, yep. So we got to get over that fear, and to get over the fear is knowledge and yeah. knowing that oh, I'm okay. God yeah. got me. Yeah, and it's 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 kind of it's kind of hard for uh for people to trust people, especially like their own kind. You know what I'm saying? Like, and uh for for someone like such as yourself with organizations such as yourself, man, it's like. It's like that, <laughs> that way next hell, man. So it's yeah. good, that, man. Keep doing what you're doing, man. So I got I got a million dollar question for you, man. Okay, like, okay. and I was on a I was on a panel uh, last weekend, and you know it, it, it's like it's like arguing politics. Mm. How do an artist get on the radio? All right, this is the real truth. Registration. Mm. That's really how you get on the radio, bro. Is mm. I play. And I don't want to say no artist names, but some of our biggest artists here in Milwaukee are not registered. Mm. I know because when I play you guys, I'm on a uh, digital radio tracker, DRT. That's what you look up. And if I play your song, your your cover should pop up mm. on iHeartRadio and, and you listening for your song. It should pop up every time, anywhere. Yep. You should be popping up your IRSC code. Your yeah, IRSC code. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Um, yeah. um, the U, your UPC code should be connected. Everything needs to be connected. You need to be on media base. You need to have a sound exchange. Mm -hmm. You need to have 16, it's 16 accounts that you need to register your music through and then put it through your PROs, which is your CSAC, BMI, or ASCAP. Put it in there so that everything goes together when it gets played. You got to make sure that you write out your lyrics also so that you, it can be uh, uh, monetized also, when you on Facebook and you know when they do the little mm. stories and your words get the yeah. why your words not playing it why it's not showing up because you ain't registered, bro. Mm. You register your stuff correctly, then that's when they like okay, he got this here, he got this here, he got these many plays already. So then we can put him on the radio. He has to work, right? They're gonna look it up, yeah. And if they can't find you in the system, they're not gonna play you. They're not gonna it's a play waste you of their at time. all. Wow. And the, all these artists out here crying, they can't get on the radio and they ain't even put the footwork Man, in. Y'all ain't got the footwork in. Y'all sitting there, y'all, y'all, y'all making a cut, y'all making a song, slapping it on distro kid, and and you think you on because you they, they putting you on Spotify. Oh my God. All they you doing is using your music for ads. Exactly, for ads to make money and yep. you get the pennies. Jeez. Instead of getting 16 checks per song. So let me guess, man. Your your your, your organization. Um, that's what we do. We, we provide services like exactly. that. Exactly. That's what nice. all money save and, and big hits is about. It's artist development. Beautiful. And and that's what I I, I want to do for my artists is y'all to learn and and get y'all stuff right because you missing money. Yeah. Man, I can't make money with you. You ain't registered. Yep. Yeah, wow. <laughs> that's how you get on the radio. We got a lot of talking to do, man. Yeah, so, that's how you, um, get on radio. you, man, you industry based. It sounds like clearly, you know what I'm saying. Like, so how how did you get in the industry? How did you like, you know, tap in with the majors? Man, most definitely, it started uh ten years ago. Me dealing with individuals that people didn't believe in. That's number one, mm. and that's the and I deal with black owned businesses mainly. Honestly, all my businesses I work with now are black owned. The only white owned company that I work with now, starting yesterday, is Copa Madison. Shout out to my boy Jeez, Dale. That's big, man. man. Uh, you know, that's the uh, everything else is me sticking, you know, to the code of grinding and winning all the showcases, going outside of Milwaukee <laughs> and going to every state, beating a artist, 
Yeah. Keeping our Milwaukee sound winning. Yes, Lord. And doing what we got to do. And they're like, man, you you holding it down, man. Right. You ain't switching up. So you give a, give us some of those uh, some of those backstories. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, like some of the grind that you done put in. You know what oh, I'm saying? Oh, man. So like I did, a, uh, we went to South by Southwest. And um, I did an interview uh Hip Hop Weekly. Mm -hmm. And we did a performance. And all the majors was there performing. From QC to uh, um, um, TI uh, Label. Grand Hustle was there. Mm. Everybody was there. And I'm coming from out of there, and I, from out of town, and I'm performing. And I had brought an artist with me, and they stopped my show early. And for a QC artist that, that, got, uh, that just got signed. And I'm like, and, and I was humble. Mm -hmm. And what a lot of people don't have is that humble mentality to understand where you at. Yes, Lord. So I, I'm like, okay, I'm on stage independently with all these majors that sign. Yes, Lord. And they're paying. I, I pay my fee, yeah. but they're consistently paying a bigger price, a right. bigger bag. Okay, that's business. Yes, all Lord. right, let me talk business to the person that got me here. Mm -hmm. Look, they cut me short. My other artist, he invested to come here. He needs to perform his song. I yeah. did mine. I look good, but yeah. he needs to perform his song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just invested. Yeah, you invested. Yep, yep. They let him do his thing. Mm -hmm. And when we left, the owner of the club, Rocked with us. I put out a hundred. I said, I need change for a hundred. I got a hundred ones. I'm clowning now. Yeah. And after that, the uh like my, my <laughs> homegirl Bree, who who did the interview, she actually forgot her computer there. And I ended up getting the owner's number. It was a female. Yeah. And so I called the owner, got her computer. And that's how I got my interview with Hip Hop Week. Whoa, whoa, Since, whoa. Like it's just little things like that. So really, it, it, you ain't it, even have to do that. Networking, bro. Yeah. Networking and relationships take you further than anything. Money and relationships yep. take, you far. take you far. And that's how I got in this industry and is doing stuff like that to where she's huge. That's hip hop. Uh, shout out to my girl, Bree. Uh, hip Hop United uh, LLC. That's the plug that yeah. people don't even know. You want to yeah. get me and her, we can walk into any labels and, and talk to anybody with her. So that's somebody I don't even promote like that, but that's my that's my. I did my read the article, plugs. man. You sent it to me. That's a, that's yeah, a good yeah. read, man. You that's know, good so read. So that that's how I really got, you know got in tune with people's relationships, and it put me in a position to now where, where I went to perform in uh, that same year is when I heard about HHF with uh, Pimp and Ken starting it, mm -hmm. and I'm like, all right, let me check that out. Once yeah, yeah, house. yeah. Don't move too fast, oh, man. Because okay, okay. I still want to stay on the uh, stay on your backstory. You know oh, what I'm yeah, saying? Man, uh, about your trip to New York too, man. Oh, I want to yeah. talk about you know I want to talk about that too. All right, so New York, right? Yeah, sir. We gonna talk about that right after this commercial break. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll come back for that one. That's a that's for a dude. fresh haircuts, fades, and shaves with a smile. Contact Donnie D Styles, located inside Salon Solo at 6329 West Greenfield Avenue in beautiful West Dallas, Wisconsin. Book your haircut experience on the Cut app today or call 414-687-3940. Remember, for fresh haircuts, fades, and shaves with a smile, contact Donnie D. Styles. See you soon. Yo, thanks for still tapping in at the commercial break, man. We kicking it with... DJ 16. Yeah, you hear me, man? So let's talk about that backstory, man. The whole little New, New York trip, the whole grind. You feel me? Yeah, man. Uh, we had a trip. Um, shout out to my boy, Jay Diamonds. Uh, we took a trip to New York, and um, uh, 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 we had to do an interview there. Um, and when we were doing an interview, it was in this big building uh, that was next to the, to the studio. And Miss Drama, that's her name, we did the interview with, she got us... She's a great PR in New York, got us in all the uh, uh, the parties. And in her building, this guy was producing. He was working with another guy. And I came in, I'm like, oh, yeah, them beats hot. I make beats. Woo, woo, woo. So I'm networking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm communicating. Yeah, yeah, opening and your mouth. Opening like, my mouth. Yeah. Finding out what's going on. What's up? Yeah. And when he told me what he do, he had he runs uh, Crack DVD. Mm. I'm like, oh, well, I'm in Milwaukee. I need to come to Milwaukee. I need to come see what's going on Fuck in that yeah, area. What's yeah, up? Yeah. What's up? And he, we got his contact information. I told him. And... Uh, I made some beats. He took some beats, gave it to Pat Poos. Um, uh, and at that same time is when I did Damn. the remix for uh, Teach You How to Stunt with G-Unit that made it on a mixtape. And I did another, and I was on Gucci Man Street Talk mixtape too. So like, I'm just the production side. So after networking with my boy, um, he, he said, Let, I'm coming to Milwaukee then. Mm -hmm. Then we turned it from Milwaukee to a Midwest mm -hmm. DVD. And 
that's when we grabbed, you know, LEP Bogus Boys. And, mm. you know, I was on there. My boy Rome, uh, uh, Romy was on there. Like, uh, Motion, who wrote, who, my boy Motion actually is the one who wrote, um, uh, bands make her dance the chorus she you know, so, <laughs> so, yeah, so, yeah, what? Yeah, yeah he got that bread and move and move to austin you know so he, <laughs> oh my <laughs> <laughs> he did his thing shout out motion Jeez. but we all up there and 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 that's how you connect and even after the parties i went to in new york well uh it was diddy ceo or oh no coo or president birthday party so i ended up meeting alicia keys there i ended up meeting uh um um what's what's her what's her what's her baby daddy name the producer Swizz. uh uh yeah yeah Swizz, Swizz, Swizz. Swizz beats met him uh, uh aj and free was there like everybody like He's and we went on the show too those, hard right man, now <laughs> that, that New York trip was it was so much bro like and, and, and we stayed with the actual guys that uh did the taxes for the police department and the fire department of the whole new york city so like we in Jersey, I'm in this mansion. Like I'm mind blown because I I'm broke at this time, y'all. Like understand this. I'm, I'm I'm traveling with a stack, and that money went fast. I spent three hundred, especially in New York. Fridays um, in Manhattan, three hundred dollars I I paid. What? And they didn't even finish their meal. You knew I was mad. <laughs> <laughs> I was pissed. You sound like somebody parent, like man, uh, y'all ain't leaving this table like, to you. Like, y'all over here fidgeting over this shit. I clean my plate. It's three hundred dollars. I know. <laughs> I'm coming from out of town. Coming, I, I gotta, I gotta go call back for my money. I'm off of sixty six in Hampton. <laughs> nigga. This hustling, but I ain't selling. I got nothing to sell up here. I'm, this is what I got. <laughs> but yeah, that, that was, but that was the journey of of knowing that. All I gotta do is go somewhere, open my mouth, and 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 learn. Yes, and Lord. Take a chance, and the New York trip, you know, that opened up a lot of doors for me. So. Wow, wow, yeah, man. man. So I, I I overheard you say that you were you were on this on this mix say. So you rap? Yeah, I rap. What? I actually rap because yeah. that's what put me in the game. Yes, Lord. Rapping, doing showcases, and 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 meeting the A and R's. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Um, With your hands and all this shit that you got going on, you still rap? You still perform? Right now, you know, I got a yeah. show coming up March 29th. Jeez. Um, you know, I got a music video I'm getting ready to drop. Um, promote like, that show real quick. Oh, yeah, March. The, the show, the show. I, I, I don't even know the venue. I just got booked two days ago. Like, this is how fast things is moving. I know I got a show the 29th. I got to make the flyer. We got a show March 8th. I'm doing um at uh, the Falcon Bowl. Uh, mm -hmm. here in milwaukee so that's this friday coming up Jeez. i'm gonna be performing so make sure y'all be there shout out to mocha our president of hhf mm -hmm. she put that together milwaukee expanded facts and you know it's like yeah i got a mixtape i dropped it was on tour last year y'all um, network is crazy tour. bro milwaukee expanded y'all got the 414 day y'all got HHF and but, Jam Fest. Yeah, Jam Fest. It's crazy, man. Hollywood on the on the board, man. Yeah. So yeah, so I see the I see the gear, man. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Man, so, you know, get so, your jacket, man. Yeah, tell the them, tell them, fraternity. tell them. Yeah, tell them about the hip hop fraternity, man. Yes. Tell them what HHF is, yes, man. Yes, definitely. It was uh founded by Ken Ivy, aka Pimp and Ken. You know, he's from Milwaukee. Yeah, man. He represented, he started it in Atlanta. And yeah. then we uh created the chapter here in 2021. Mm. And what really 2020, um, we started the chapter and it started really going good in 2021. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's about knowledge and uplifting the culture. Yeah. So we haven't, we taking control of our culture. Yes, Lord. You know what I mean? And that's what we're doing. So we're independent. So like for me, it's a great example. I have my own label, mm -hmm. my own promotional company. I also have big hits films. So we're going to be doing that for uh, to help out with placements for podcasting placements for movies um also filming we're going to be having locations so that's big and uh so me basically having a corporation because when you have a corporation you're legally a person at that moment yeah 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 yeah, yeah. So when you look yeah. up the word corporation yeah. not cooperation yeah corporation, corporation you look up what that means you'll be a lawful person yeah you're legally yeah. a person yeah, yeah at that not, moment yeah 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 so that's knowledge you yeah. need to know yeah yeah you know what i'm saying that's what we about giving that knowledge mm. um understanding that you are an entity and we are your brothers and sisters that's going to help you get that information and get to the next level we're yes. the plugs yes lord we ain't got to go through the majors no more for anything except for a business deal that means we're partnering with each other. Yeah. What's the deal? What's the partnership? I I got fifty percent on what it is. I can I can get funding. Yeah. You want to fund too? Okay. Well, I'd rather use your outreach to your platforms instead of using your money plus your outreach plus your recording plus your, that's too much spending too on your much. half. You're gonna own me. Yeah. 
Because that's what yeah. it is. Anybody that spins on the record owns the record. Yeah. Yep. You know, so yep. we're teaching you how to invest correctly with us. Yeah. Invest with us. You get what you need. A thousand dollars with us will get you off the porch interview. Um, um, no jumper interview, which pimping was just on. Shout out to no jumper. Where that's you're looking at fifteen to two G's by yourself for each one. Yeah. You pay a thousand, you we running you through the circuit. Yes, Lord. You know what I'm saying? So you, you come join the hip hop fraternity, we're gonna take care of you. That's what it's about. Building up. We have politicians, which is uh shout out to James C. B. Gray. That's our national president. He's a politician in New York. Um, he the one that got us dealing with the White House now. Mm. So um that's big right there. That's um, what you mean when you said the wild. You yeah, got the wild. Yeah, hey, you see what I mean? boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so like, it's it's bigger than that. And and um Shout out to our CT, uh, our uh, uh, COO. He's the one that got us plugged in with the movie. So turning our literary program that we have with Shimon and Schuster, with our book deals like we had with Boosie, Cross the Tracks, mm. we actually shot the making of the book and made it an actual movie. It's coming out nice. on the TV. Nice. So then that would give you sync licensing that you can do. So if you're an artist, right, we just did Ice-T. It's his movie done. So if you want to... Get Come join music, HHF, get, get your, your music, music on there. there. Yeah, make, that get a, mu a million hits. Yeah, that's a million make plays Make sure you got you. your IRSC and all that, that shit all together. Shit, man, it's all. You're going to get paid. 16 checks. Six. So it's a million <laughs> times for six. A million times 16. Just do the numbers. That's why a lot of these artists do be chilling. That's independent. Like, man, where they getting that money from? Yeah. They got their business right now. After three years, your business, you can start getting uh, grants and loans and, and, and things of that nature. So mm. we're teaching all that at the hip hop fraternity. And that's yes, what Lord. it's about. Oh, man it's about uplifting our culture man that's beautiful man yeah. that's beautiful man tell them how to join hhf most man. definitely go to the hip hop fraternity.com and make you a page like you would on instagram and that's how you win and then you get this jacket <laughs> You really locked in official. Yeah, you know facts, I mean? facts. Um, that, we got I like this, how you was holding that jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, cause, cause you got this jacket. It's, it's, it's a representation of who you who you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. You're independent and you with the movement. Yeah. So you can get to come in anywhere that we got going on for free. Yeah, I anywhere. like what y'all got going on, man, because like normally you have fraternities and, and colleges and stuff like that, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? They have they had their internal plugs. You know, they call these, uh, each other's brothers. Exactly. So, but y'all doing it for music. Yes, yes, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, man. And kids. And, and if you're 40 years old, still think you got it. Come on. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Come man. On. Yeah, finish telling them how to side up, man. I'll yeah. cut you off, man. No, no, no. Hip hop, that's how you do it. Go to the yeah. hiphopfraternity.com or you can follow me at DJ16 and I'll have it on my uh, social sites, uh, DJ S I X T E E N, everywhere. And you're going to see how you can just log in and, and join the movement, you yeah. know, yeah. And, and find out how to further your career right i'm gonna tap in man you just inspired me man yeah, you talking about yeah. opening your mouth and all that shit man that shit inspired me man yeah. in case y'all just now kicking it man kicking it with us we kicking it with dj 16 right now we got our word segment you feel me where we spin the wheel three times you tell me what you think about these words okay okay cool <laughs> All right, let's have some fun let's pick your brain man all right all right let's get your first spin real quick all right let's see what we got going on man Right, what's the first word? First word is longevity. Mm. Mm. That's, that's what I'm about. Yeah. Legacy. Yeah. You know, uh, in order to have legacy, you got to have longevity. Mm. You know, and I want to build a legacy. That's what I, I want to make sure I know how to make every type of dollar I can for my kids. Yes, Lord. So that I can teach them because that's the legacy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, and 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 that's what I'm on, and, and I gotta have longevity in order to have legacy. So it's important Jeez. to be consistent. Got to be consistent. That's how you have longevity. It's consistency. First you know? person to break the word down <laughs> and, 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 as explaining. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, man. Keep yeah. talking about like, but yeah, that's 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 real important to have a to have longevity to have a legacy. Yeah, Jeez. exactly. Jeez. You know, you got it goes together. You know, the power of words is so important, man. We're not dealing with humans; we're dealing with spirits. Mm. That's another thing. And in order to have longevity, you got to know your spirit. Mm. You got to have the spirit, the ambition, the drive. You know, to want to do it. What yeah. is your intention yeah. in life? Yeah. Find that out. And then you'll have longevity in that. <sighs> ah, second spin, <laughs> boys. Well, it's definitely. Let's see what we working with. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Fashion. 
Oh man, <laughs> check this out, boss. Ain't that, ain't that say? Check this out, boss. <laughs> hey, fashion is the key. Now, me, I don't, I, I never was like big on myself wanting to be fashionable, but my father always kept me in good clothes. I mm. always had nice J's. I was, I didn't always need to have the the highest expensive gear. Mm -hmm. But then I understood how it looked on me, and then how people perceive you. Yeah. When I put on that suit, that custom fitted suit, yeah. that oh shoot, yeah. I feel good. Yeah, I look good. Mm -hmm. It works better when I'm selling stuff. It looks better when I'm looking good. Yeah. So you have to look the part. Fashion is is, is it, it can be who you are. Yeah. And this fashion that we got right here is actually a billboard of what we are, what yeah. we representation, everything that's going on. Peace, love, respect. Peace, love, respect. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's. What we established in 2020, yeah. like fashion, do so much. It could be a billboard for you, mm. or it can show you who you are as a person. Yes, Lord. So fashion is is part of us. We yeah. are fashion. Yeah. How how does it pertain to like hip hop to you, man? Like, because you got artists under you. You got you know what I'm saying. Yeah, like, man. how important is do you do you have these conversations regarding yes. fashion a lot? Yes, because you want you got to know how to market yourself. So the fashion goes to your marketing also. So when you look at um, someone like uh Uzi when he first came out, he didn't have he wasn't pushing fashion right away. He was pushing raw mm -hmm. and 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 dancing, showing off his tattoos. Mm -hmm. Then it became a then he hopped into the fashion lane. Yeah. And then started rapping more about fashion and start understanding how big fashion is. It's a big industry now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And hip hop it just goes together because we are the influencers. We are the biggest consumers and the biggest creators at the same time. Jeez. And once we understand that we are fashion, like. Yeah, it's endless. It's, it's endless. Yeah. Like, it's, it's beautiful. So hip hop and fashion go together. It, it's, it's like it's like hip hop and sports and basketball Facts. and football. Like it's Facts. all together. Facts. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's how I feel about it. <sighs> Third spin. Let's get it. Do a little faster one. Let's see if I get some. see if I get some some crazy. I like though. I like these words. Money or happiness? Happiness. You know, because when you happy, money comes to you. Mm. Mm. And, and, and it comes to you when you need it. Jeez. So you know, I, that's why I move in happiness. Like I was, I spent, I, I made five hundred, spent three, and then made two hundred back. <laughs> I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Like and that's I was a good reason to be happy, that's right? A good reason to be happy, right? You know. Yeah. What I mean? So if you're just moving in happiness and doing what you're doing, yep. the things come. Like I swear, I I promise you, God saved me because I was locked up. Like in 2022, I missed that whole year. I was locked up for a year, mm -hmm. fighting for my life. That's when I really got to get in tune with myself. That's when I really got back to reading the Bible fully and getting in tune with God. Yeah. And and, and praying for knowledge and understanding. Yes, That's Lord. all I was praying for. And give me, God, give me knowledge and understanding, please. I want knowledge and understanding of my case, knowledge and understanding of this life, knowledge and understanding of who I am. Please let me know. And I'm having Bible studies in 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 in, in jail. They call me Pastor Do Wrong. <laughs> as soon as somebody do wrong, I'm on your ass. Like, hold on, bro, hold on. Ain't none of that moving. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I'm giving blessings. I'm I'm helping people out their cases, beating their cases, reading their stuff. I'm like, no, this ain't right. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't say nothing. Don't woo woo woo. But I still was locked up. I'm like, man, why well, I can't leave? My yeah. stuff is not real. Like, this is fraud. That's crazy. God, God put you there to help you for them too. Exactly. And that's why I had to that's why I had to understand. And it was like, oh, okay. Yes. And I made, and then I was happy. Yeah. So I'm happy in jail. What? Mess them people up. Like I said, they want you to be fearful. This 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 world wants you to be fear. Like, like police put it's, it's, it's police pulled me over and I'm happy. And I ain't showing no type of fear. Oh, yeah. They leave me the hell yeah. alone. Yeah. You don't let me know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Who? Oh, 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 oh. How you doing, officer? Whoa. You, you pulled me over. Uh, did, did I, what did I do today? You pulled me over for what? Did I hurt anybody today? Yeah. Oh, oh okay. Cool. I don't know what you're talking about. Right. I don't remember that, but if, if it's just a ticket, I'll take the ticket. Yeah. Because you don't have to pay the ticket either. Right. You don't. So it's about communication, how yep. you communicate. And if you happy and somebody fucking with you and you don't let them see that, 
They don't even know how to deal nope. with you. They like, man, how can I? Mm. What's what? so moving happiness and love and keep God first? You'll see the blessings. You'll get that money. Jeez. You'll get that money. It's gonna come. People Jeez. gonna start paying for you. See, <laughs> they want Jeez, your happiness, man. man it's, it's protruding off of you, man. The happiness is, man. There you go, man. We got the word <laughs> segment with DJ Sixteen. Damn yes, it, sir. man. Yeah, man. Thanks for letting us, allowing us to pick your brain. You yes, know what I'm saying? Yes. So. DJ man, you you got the DJ man. Like what what DJs you you tapped into? Like who you listening oh, to, man? man right listen, now, man. Shout out to my HHF DJs. Yeah. Fuck them up, tap. Yeah, oh, shout out, fuck them up. He was out here. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, DJ New Styles, that's my boy. Jeez. He hot. He hot. Jeez. He hot with the turntables. Yeah. I promote him. Yeah. Um, my boy DJ Mr. Mac and Racine here. HHF DJ DJ two six two. That's who uh put me on ninety nine point nine FM. That's his station. So shout out to DJ two six two. Big plug. Um, DJ O, we go way back, man, way back before he was really on V100. I remember going to his house and he had the crates and everything. So shout out to DJ O. Right. Um, yeah, them the ones that I really like listen to. Oh, and my boy uh, L Boogie also. Oh, I listen to L Boogie. Yeah, we yeah. both went to Milwaukee Vince the same yeah. time. L so. Boogie be lit, boy. Yeah, that's my Spice, boy, man. man listen. Yeah, when I was, yeah that, that's my boy. Shout out to his brother Lance who actually do fashion too. So, you know, he got his own clothing line. So I yeah, I listen to them DJs. They're my boys. Bro, I'm just going to say this. Your network is crazy, boy. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Damn, boy. And it keeps Jeez. growing. It just keeps it's growing, man. I'm not satisfied, bro. Right. Like, I know, um, like I said, I had to pray about it. I know what, I, what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to bring the people together. I'm supposed to inspire my people. Um, whether it's going to be me rapping, whether it's going to be me doing uh, executive work, whether mm -hmm. it's going to be me doing my uh, being a philanthropist, helping the community, whatever it is. Bringing the people together and giving knowledge is what my 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 calling is. Right, you know? man, and it's crazy because, like, man, the type of I was gonna say that when you landed on money or happiness, you the type of person, bro, you never not gonna be happy because you're you're happy making other people happy, man, exactly. and you could always it, that's never ending, man. Like, the, me and you knowing we was off the off Hampton. Just to see the glow off of you off of that, like that's more personal. Yeah, facts. That made me happy. Facts, facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. That, that's the energy. We going off the energy. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You know, it's it's locked spirits. in for life after that. Yeah, you know it. Yeah, yeah. We got to do it. That's the age. That's yeah. love. Hustling, make your paper. Yeah, you know? ah, yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. what we own. Yes, um, Lord. It's not a a, a gang to, to 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 terrorize people. You know what I'm saying? It's mm. hustling and making paper. Like yeah. think about that. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You hustling in every type of form. It could be selling music. It could mm. be selling fries. Yeah. Whatever you doing, you hustling to go get it, man. Yeah. So yeah, yeah facts, facts. I love people making people happy. I love it. And as an artist, mm -hmm. what well, who you listening to? And as an artist right now, who, what uh, artists are you listening to? No, no, because no, I'm an yeah. artist too. Yeah, yeah facts, I, I, facts. I like to listen to to good bars. I yeah. like to like. Of course, I'm Mr. Chicken. Yeah, facts. Uh, I done became uh, a fan of JP. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying that's yeah, my boy right there. I put him on the radio. You yeah. know, he going hard right now. Uh I like. um uh, uh, Big Frank, he's doing his thing too, but really, uh, I like Destiny Lynn. She going crazy. Yeah, D Lynn. I'm me. listening to my homegirl QD. I, uh, uh, she's next. She's, up. A lot of people sleeping. Yeah. She's waking them up. That's why I said she's waking yeah, up. Facts. They ain't gonna be sleeping too much longer this year. Yeah, facts, you know facts, facts. facts. So yeah, yeah. She year, be barking she, too. She go crazy. Um, it's a new artist I need to tap into. My boy Blue Wu, he's doing he's doing his thing. Um, he HHF also. Jeez, put me on. I gotta hear you, yeah. Blue Wu. Yeah, he gonna be out. he performing at Jam Fest too. Yeah, facts, so, facts. Tap in with him. Uh, uh, man, I listen I listen to everybody. But then yeah. my main artist, of course, Chicken P. Like I said, Chicken P. Uh, Maya P. I rock with them. Shout out to Jr. Scales. Oh man, uh, shout out Scales, man. And I got, oh, a Ooh, I got a story with him. I'm way so I talk to him in person. Right. I don't want to put it in public. <laughs> but yeah, we go way back. Yeah. yeah. On some hustling, because yeah. you know he was on the east. I'm off Hampton, so it was, it was, it was some on the south side where we end up connecting. And it was a phone call that we had, and then now we both in the industry helping artists. So it's like it's beautiful mm. how God works, man. If you stay positive, yeah. it was not positive how we first met. Ah, <laughs> you know? Don't you love those stories, I though, love man? Oh, that's I crazy. love 
love you, it, man. bro. Like for real. And, and I, I, I love it even more coming from my Hampton nigga, because that's how we was, man. We would, <laughs> we would throw them or some shit, and then we'd be right back cool at, at Wall Parkers or McGov or yeah. something. Like, <laughs> couldn't even do nothing about it, man. Exactly. Couldn't do nothing about it, man. Yeah, All right, so about, man, man, like you locked in, bro, with uh with Maverick Distribution, man. Yes. Man, shout out, chill, man. What up, yes, boy? Sir. So uh, so so tell how this derived for first of all, and then secondly, like what is Maverick Distribution? Yeah, it came upon me uh to my with my boy Chill and uh it was, and he is a co-founder uh of the distribution company is black owned, it's mm. independent. Um and it's where you can have full control of your release. And unlike Specified other that, full control yeah, full control of your release yeah. and unlike United Masters, Distro Kids, C D Baby. Any of these other distribution companies, you can actually call them. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I hate dealing with companies, and when I call y'all, it's yeah. I do you doing through that? <laughs> nah, bro, where buddy that I saw on the on on the screen? Where he at? He said you, know? you can actually call them. Yeah, <laughs> call. The, I'm talking about you not can. just a phone call. You can video yep. chat this person. Yep. We have. Actual uh every Monday is a uh 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 we have in Zoom meetings for Maverick Global distribution artists to be able to learn more, connect more with all our DJs. We have yeah. the fleet DJs. That's, that's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Uh, uh for, for, uh for the Mavericks is Monday. Oh, for the Mavericks. Wednesdays oh. is for the artists to promote oh. their actual track. Ah, sorry, bro. I, 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 right? I digress. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what this is about. Yes, Lord. You know what I mean? Jeez. So Mondays is for the Maverick Global Distribution, and then the Wednesdays is when we actually have the mm. artists come in and you what you got going on? What's the record? What's yeah. the record? Mm. Let me hear the record. We had Kirk Bangs, uh Romeo Miller on there. Uh, the last couple of weeks, uh, 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 the East Side Boys, that's what Lil John was on there. They had a new Jeez. record. So, and, uh, and shout out to my boy Big Hef. Um, he's with uh, Epic Records, the A and R there. Uh, he well, he from Ohio, one of the top A and Rs, and he's been supporting what we got going on too. And and he has the nerve DJs. So Jeez. these are the type of guys that's on the call where you get your record broke. <sighs> And he sent me records. Like, I can go right now, open up my email, and I get all the new records of every signed artist before anybody else get it. Because I'm a part of that pool. I'm a part of what's going on. So, yeah, man, it, it, this is what the this Bro, is what that it shit is. is so fun because you got to stay busy. I got to. I, I don't <laughs> stay busy. I'm losing. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Because of my position, I put myself yes, in. I'm Lord. not just no artist no more. You know, I'm Jeez. a businessman. I'm learning like, okay, I have responsibility now. I'm about to be, I'm not going to play with your life. Right, right. You know, like, 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 like this right here, what I want to do is I want to take your podcast that we have for this interview and I want to put it on our hhfmag.com. Man, and with all due respect, please do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yes, Lord. For real, you know, and that's part of the marketing and promotion and yeah. you already in tune with Chill to where he already know who you are. Yes, so Lord. like, that you see how small yeah. the circle gets mm -hmm. as you start to network. Yeah. And then you're like, okay, so really, if I want to really do business, it's a certain couple individuals I got to mm -hmm. talk to. Yeah. And what's beautiful about Maverick Global Distribution is that you can connect to every person yeah yep. every person that's a part of the company they're there they're tangible they're right there right there yep. and, you know hype magazine which is the biggest you know black owned magazine online magazine that we've been having for the last 10 15 20 years mm. she a part of it you know and she's hhf too so they are man we all together so y'all yeah. just tap in with us and learn study please learn and study yes man she's man this has been a man <laughs> this has been it right here you feel me man so okay. man my boy said he man you a man of god I, I appreciate that man my man said he got to get the church so we ain't gonna hold you too yes, long sir. man so last question man what's next man because you got all these going on how are you gonna how are you nutshelling this you know what i'm saying yeah. And, you know. yeah so what's next um i'm looking to get a building, purchase a building, and it'll be a one-stop shop for everybody. I'm Jeez. learning with um, my boy Dale in Madison because he's he's creating a university. I want to have a university here. Mm -hmm. um, also, uh, I have a temple of healing, so I want to get that off to help heal people, get these scriptures, you mm -hmm. know, get this knowledge, yes, not, the, not the false information, and, uh, and, and keep pushing my nonprofit to help the community. So I want to just be the staple for our, our people. That's yeah. what I want to be. That's my goal. That's what's next is right. being a representation and a staple for it. 
Yeah. Ain't gonna use us no more. No. That's done. Jeez, God <laughs> using you, man. There's so many tears to this, man. It's crazy, man. Yes, so, man, sir. in case y'all just now tapping in, we're kicking it with DJ 16. Man, the, the yes, multifaceted sir. gentleman here, man. It's man, crazy, with many hats. man. Yeah, you feel me, man. <laughs> so, man, man, in case y'all wanna tap in, man, tell them where to find you at on uh, social media, yeah, too. At DJ S I X T E E N on IG, Facebook, Twitter. SoundCloud. If you just Google it, everything pops yeah, up. Everything All pop the write-ups, up. Yeah. everything pop up. My picture gonna pop up. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna be right you like there. this. <laughs> <laughs> you hear me? You feel me? Yeah, man. And, and, and most definitely, um, shout out to all my supporters out there and all of the those that's gonna be supporters. I welcome y'all with open arms. Um, go to thehiphopfraternity.com. Make you a page. Um, tap in with me if you need help. And also, this is huge right here that I'm pushing. I'm talking to children, single mothers, single fathers, whoever is feel like you're alone and you need help. And, you know, your kid is going off the rail. You will know where to go. You can call us and we'll talk to your kids because it's important for them to have a male that's dominant huge. figure in their life that's masculine, yeah. that shows love. Yeah. Because we don't know how... My father did everything for me, but he didn't teach me about emotions. Yeah, yeah. You know, he 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 just told me don't fuck up, yeah. and this is how you be responsible. What about the in between? Yeah, it's a lot of gray area with that. Yeah, and yeah. It's, and I want to be there for the children and, and and for the parents in that situation because we need it right now. That's huge, man. That's, That's definitely, huge, man. man. Tap in with yeah, me, man. Feel me, man. Like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all tap in because I am here. <laughs> I yeah, appreciate you again for yes, coming to the show, you. man. Again, man, this is your boy, Sir Quentin, Quentin kicking it with DJ16. Y'all make sure to go check out bestofthebesttv.com. Check this out on Roku, too, the A&R. You're going to be checking it out on HHF, too, soon. Yes, you sir. You what I'm saying, man? Y'all make sure y'all lock in with my boy, DJ16, man. HHF, lock HHF. in with everything he got going on. And uh, you need, need any questions on how to get in contact with him. If you can't find him, hit me up. I'll refer yes. you to him. You know what yes, I'm saying? Sir. Man, we rocking out, man. Rocking man, out. Man, enjoy. Pray for me at church. You I'm feel me, man? For everybody. Man, hey, facts. prayers. We finna blow up. Facts, man. In it's a good up. way. It's up, man. <laughs> you already know what time it is. Shh. Shut up and hustle. We out. <laughs>